We will get started. Okay. All right. Hi, this is Cynthia Horner from Right On Digital, and I am here with Alex LaPree, who plays Effie <laughs> on Power Book 2, Ghost, and yes, she is a recurring character. She actually appeared on the on the original Power series and became a fan favorite. So can you tell us about your journey into the Power universe? Yeah, it all started in season six of the original Power. And from there, I moved on to Ghost, the spinoff show. And I recently, for season two, became a series regular. So you'll be seeing lots more of me for season three, which was just announced. I'm so, so, so super excited. Well, I think that is really incredible. And I think that people really loved your character because when you were on the original Power, you actually beat Tariq as his own game. <laughs> and I think that everybody was just giving you fist bumps for that. Oh, so, yeah. So what was it like? Um, being able to have this type of character where you um, are very fearless and you have like different tricks up your sleeve that nobody knew anything about. It's so much fun. She has so much personality. So literally work never gets boring because as I get these scripts for each episode, I'm even surprised by the things that she does. <laughs> so <laughs> I, it's, it's always a surprise. The writers are so good and the directors just create those magic moments. So much fun. And I noticed that you now have some different hairstyles. When we first started seeing you, your hair was corn road. And then the last episode I saw, you had your hair out in a more glamorous look. So can you talk about oh, yeah. hair? And today oh, yeah. you have your hair curly, which is really pretty too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for this episode, it's uh, Effie and Diana. They are scamming a very expensive department store. So of course they can't look like themselves just in case anyone sees anything. Um, <laughs> So yeah, they gave me a long layered, sexy chocolate wig. And it was very strange to see myself that way because whenever I'm playing Effie, she's always in, you know, cargo cargo pants and sneakers, the, the braids and the big jackets. She's very masculine. So to see her in that way was shocking and everyone else couldn't believe it either. Some people didn't even recognize me. They thought it was a new character <laughs> until they heard her say Effie, so crazy crazy yeah i i actually like the long hair on you that that was really thank pretty. you yeah thank you <laughs> yeah and i almost didn't recognize you but then because you were in the scenes with diana that's yeah. what made me realize that it had to be you oh yeah <laughs> so that that was great now i've interviewed quite a few people that are on um this particular series and definitely all the all the actors and actresses that were on the original power yeah. and everybody has something in common that they say which is that they absolutely love the wardrobe because yes. of the um way um i guess the <laughs> stylist's name is frank and um they they wanted me to give frank a shout out and they said <laughs> they all yes we we always things. are um it's really fun because we actually have different wardrobe people all of the time it switches day by day uh season by season and um it always it never fails that they just create fire the the name brands they get really exclusive drops the fittings are that's it's honestly one of my favorite parts what am i wearing this season <laughs> yeah that that is uh, like that is so much fun just to know that whenever you're um filming an episode you don't know what you're going to see in the script and you don't know what you're going to see on you. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. Now let's talk about your journey into the acting field because you've been in several television shows and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. um, how did you first get your start? With acting, I actually kind of stumbled upon it. Um, I started in music and the industry was very complicated and I was in a little bit over my head. I was very young when I started, maybe uh, 15 years old when I started professionally. 
Uh, so I stepped away from music and I was just kind of trying to figure out what my next step would be. I knew that I was a creative and I knew there was no other route I would rather go than the arts. And um, I came across acting. I didn't take it seriously at first because it wasn't a dream of mine as a child. I always just wanted to be a music musician. But um, after I, it wasn't until I booked The Den of Thieves that I got on set and I just completely fell in love. It was over by that point. I knew that I wanted to do it forever. It was exhilarating. It, the feeling is just indescribable. Oh, that is so great. Yeah. Now, your character, you have a lot of interaction this time with Diana and of course with Tariq. Um, what was it like working with with these fun, um, very um, respected actors and actresses? It's amazing. I learned so much from everyone and we truly have become a family over the years. Uh, me, Tariq, eh, Tariq, me, Michael, and Brayden, um, we have been working together for maybe three years now. It's been a while. So those are my boys. And then, of course, when I met everyone from the new show, Ghost, it was just even better because working with people amongst your age, it's just you have so much to relate on and you play so well off of each other. So... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting comment. And when I interviewed um, a couple of people the other day, I, I think it was Latoya and Daniel, they were talking about the fact that everybody takes care of each other. And, oh, yeah. and I thought that was that was a nice that was like a, a very nice comment to make because it's not like there's rivalry. Everyone wants to make sure that yeah. everyone's good, that there's no no issues or anything like that so I think that's, exactly that's nice and it's also nice like you said to have other people that are in your general age range mm -hmm. that you can relate to because that's not really how it is on most series there's usually yeah. age disparage disparity so yeah we we spend so much time with each other that um you know at that point we're spending more time with our castmates than we are with even our friends or family. A lot mm -hmm. of us, most of us don't live in New York. So when we're up there, it can get lonely and, you know, COVID didn't really make it easier. So um, we definitely spend a lot of time up there. We spend holidays together. We go out together. We stay inside and are sad together if we need to be. It's a really beautiful thing. I'm so grateful for the cast I have. Oh, that's wonderful. And I just love the way the different um, episodes roll out because there's never a dull moment. You cannot yeah. predict anything that's ever going to happen on any show that is within the Power franchise. Exactly. Yeah. Now, tell me uh, a couple of your beauty tips. Um, how do you like to wear? Yeah. How do you like to wear your hair? when you're not working just like this actually i love my curls i have grown to love my curls my hair has been very much so an uphill battle <laughs> but um yeah i'd say my beauty tips is just um keeping your hair moisturized keeping the curls so i i don't put heat on my hair i maybe put heat on my hair um a couple times a year when i need to on set or um, for press or things like that uh, keep heat off, stay moisturized, keep your face moisturized and clean. I feel like if you really just take care of everything, you'll just start to glow. Your body will thank you for it. Mm -hmm. Now, what about clothing? What are your favorite outfits to wear? Oh my goodness. I love oh. Yeezys. Yes, I love the Yeezy brand. Um, I wear a lot of their stuff. And as far as fashion goes, I really love Rick Owens. I just, I really love any designer that takes risks and has like that fun edge to it. I really like to make a spectacle of fashion. That's what I always say. I like to wear things that other people wouldn't dare. <laughs> so um, I just have fun with it. Have fun with it. However I'm feeling that day. I can't even really describe my fashion in one word because I feel like it switches every day. Mm-hmm. And what about makeup? Do you like to wear a lot of makeup when you're not on set or not? 
I think that makeup is so much fun. I'm very, I'm very much so into it. My sister, Elijah, is actually uh, my makeup artist. She travels with me and we experiment with so many different things, color and graphic liner and lashes. I really love a good gloss, all that. Oh, all okay. Yeah. What's, your, what's your favorite, lashes or foundation Ooh. or lipsticks or glosses? Hmm. It's really hard to pick one, but you know what I think is the most important feature on the face is the brows um, because they frame the face. So however your brows look is the way that it determines how your face is structured. So um, probably brows, but gloss is a very close second. I don't know. I, it just depends on what mood I'm in because I really like blush too. I feel like blush gives you such a healthy glow and it makes you look so alive and fresh. Mm hmm I use yeah. cream blush. Yeah, you you said some very interesting things, especially about brows, because I'm really into brows too. And um, I found people that do a great job with my brows and everybody always says, oh, wow, where'd you get your brows done? What's that technique? So, yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Now, before we go, I know that this series is a series where a lot of people comment all the time on social media. Do you, do you like to read um, the comments that they make? Because I'm serious, the comments are fast and furious. They just come oh, yeah. through as the episodes are on TV. Yeah, it's a uh, bittersweet sort of deal because there are so many diehard fans but you have to have tough skin because of course it comes with a lot of the, a lot of the uh, mischievous ones that like to do what they do. Um, I love, I think it's thoroughly entertaining. Uh, we, the fans create like little inside jokes and things like that and really take it and run with it. I think that's really fun. I'm a Twitter person. I am on Twitter constantly. Anyone that knows me knows that. So I love to look through and see like the little gifts and the little memes and things that they post. I think it's hilarious. I'm here for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Michael Rainey Jr. is on Twitter a lot too. In fact, he and I communicate sometimes that way. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, okay, well, tell us your Twitter handle, handle and your IG uh, handle so that people can follow you. Yes, you can follow me at the Alex Lapri, Alex with the I, A L I X L A P R I, and on Twitter, I'm just Alex Lapri, where I talk about everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for this interview with Right On Digital, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas season. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Bye.